Now I'm going to show you how to do the guest cottage. This is in Chapter 4. As you can see, I've already done Step 1, which is to open the cottage prototype drawing. I've got it open right now, so I'll move to Step 2, which says to save it as Guest Cottage in the Home Directory. So I'll click over here on that red A, do Save As, and I need to find my home directory. I've made a folder in here called Technical Drafting, and I will call this guest cottage. It's a real important step to do right there. Don't forget to do it. It's always important to save your projects into your own home directory um, so that it'll save the changes that you're making. Step 3 wants me to set the units to architectural and the precision to 1 16th inch. A good way to do the um, units and the limits is to have the pull down menu. You can type it in as well, but I like the pull down menu and I'll show you how to pull that up real quick. If you click on this last little icon right here, and just go to Show Menu Bar. You can see you get the pull-down menus now, and these are really helpful to have. Well, you can find most commands on the toolbars or the ribbons, the pull-down menu allows you to find commands that you can't necessarily find everywhere else. So well, I'm going to go to the Format pull-down and click on Units. If you prefer typing, you can type in the word Units, just don't forget the S at the end and it wants me to set my units, my drawing units, to be architectural. Right now they're set to engineering by default, and what engineering is, it's feet and inches, but it's in a decimal format. You can always tell, just at a quick glance, what units your drawing is using when you look down here, right above the Start button, right above there in the lower left corner, you can see what your drawing limits, or I'm sorry, units are. So they're in engineering right now. I'll change it to architectural, and I'll say OK. And notice what happened. Now it's, it's feet and inches, but it's using fractions instead of decimals. So I know I'm in the architectural units. Step four is to set the limits of the drawing. It tells me I need to set my upper right limits to be 48 feet by 38 feet. AutoCAD assumes inches, so this is an important thing to know when you're doing architectural drawings in AutoCAD. If you were to just type in 48 comma 38, it assumes inches, so it'll make it 48 inches by 38 inches. You have to put the foot symbol in there when you're doing feet, so the foot symbol is the apostrophe key on your keyboard. Let's do Format, Drawing Limits. If you prefer to type things, you can also type just Limits, L-I-M-I-T-S, don't forget the S. And the lower left corner is what it's always going to ask you to begin with, and that will always be 0 comma 0. The upper right corner is the 48 feet by 38 feet. If I do this correctly, do you see this tiny little grid down here? I'll know I did it correctly when that grid gets to be as big as my border. It'll be just a little bit bigger than my border if I do it right. So 48 feet, comma, 38 feet and my grid just got the size of my border. So I know I did that correctly. If you accidentally typed in 48 comma 38, it'll still be a tiny little grid in the corner there. Step 5 wants me to make the following layers. Floor plan, windows, doors, labels, text, hatch, clothes rods, and dimensions. You can pick a color, any color. This is your drawing. You get to choose your own colors here. And set the clothes rod layer to dashed. I've already done this step just to save a little bit of time here. I've got all my, my uh, layers already set up here. The next thing it says is in the text style dialog box, set the stylus BT font for the standard text style. Um, I prefer using the ribbons, so I'm going to show you how you can do this in the ribbons. If you go to annotate, and here's your text styles. This is the first panel on the annotate ribbon. This tiny little arrow right here takes you right into your text styles. And so it's wanting to change standard. Instead of Arial, it wants it stylus BT. If you just start typing STY, it kind of finds it for you. That's it. You'll say apply and close. Another way to get there is if you go to format, here's your text style, takes you to the same place. Next, it wants me to set up the following running O snaps, midpoint, intersection, endpoint, and perpendicular. So I'll come down here. I'm going to right click on my O snap, and I'm going to go to settings. I'm just going to go ahead and clear the default ones that come in here, and I'll just go with what the book says. So midpoint, intersection, endpoint, and perpendicular. And 
There's one more OSNAP that I know I'm going to need a little bit later, so I'll just go ahead and set it now. We'll, you'll see it towards the end of this project, but center. I need to go ahead and turn on my center OSNAP, even though the book doesn't say to do that. And that's it. So I've got this drawing set up. The next thing I'm going to do is actually start drawing the walls.